What's up guys, my name is Drew Shahoog, welcome back to the channel again, and today we're going to be talking about the underwater muffle weird sound effect on videos. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, and we'll break it down step by step. Alright, well, let's hop into Final Cut and figure out how we're going to do this. So, all the footage in here is already completely done. It's already edited, color graded, which is completely fine. What we're going to actually be doing though is messing with the song itself. So, hop into Final Cut, grab your song, which is right here. And we're going to find the part where we want it to muffle. So I'm going to start right here. We're going to play and pause it where we want it to muffle or underwater effect. I want it to start right there. Right there is where I want it. So you're going to press space to pause it. And you're going to press command B on that playhead. So that cuts the whole song into a spot. Then we're going to keep on playing. And whenever we want the muffle to be out, we're going to pause it. I want it on that upbeat. Right there. I'm gonna play one more time. Right there. All right. So playhead. We're gonna press Command B again. That cuts it again. So now we have this one spot in this song where we want it to be muffled or underwater. So we're gonna to go to our Effects tab. And we're gonna to go to All Video and Audio. And we're gonna search literally muffled. So I'm just gonna type in M U F. Muffled comes up. We're gonna put this muffled onto that little section that we cut out. There it is. So now we play it. It's pretty good, but it could be better. So we're going to actually kind of keyframe when we want it to kind of dip into that muffled effect. So go to the very beginning of that section and select the front end of the clip with your playhead. Select the song. And we're going to go over here and we're going to scroll down until we find our muffle. We're going to slide this all the way to the left. So if we play that now. It's so minor. Go to the very beginning again, put your playhead there, select the clip. We're going to actually keyframe this. So keyframe right there. We're actually going to go over here and go five frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Now go back over and drag this slider up to about, let's say 75. 75 is a pretty good, like really low muffle. So now we listen to it. See how it goes. So now we want, what we want to do is the exact same thing on the out end. Go to the very, very end of your clip, select your song, there we go, and go five frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put another keyframe. Then we're going to go five frames to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to put this all the way back down to the very, very end again. So now what we have is a really good underwater sound. That you know what I'm trying to say? That that's what we're going for. All right, that's good. Okay, so now that your song is dealt with and that's got that underwater effect. There's just a little extra things you can do to make it just that much more better. So if you go to YouTube and you type in ear ringing sound effect, the first one that comes up is what you're going to use and you're going to convert that to an MP3. Once you have that, put it into your timeline right on the same portion of where the song is like that kind of sound effect. And we're going to actually just move those sliders over to where we want it to be. So go to your singing or your ear ringing sound effect. See these little sliders? You're going to move these however much you want it. I usually do it just a little bit and then I do on the out end as well. So you can just move it like that. And then what's going to happen is you have that ear ring sound effect in the background. See what I'm trying to say? It's very minor, but it does a lot. So you play that song together and the sound effect of your ears ringing together, it gives a really good underwater muffle sound effect and it really emphasizes everything that's happening in the clip because you take it all away and you throw it right back in on the drop. So let's play it one more time and yeah, we'll see what we have. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a very simple, fast thing to do, but it certainly does a lot to make the video just have a little bit more character to it. Um, if you guys learned something from this, definitely like and comment what you learned. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Just DM me on Instagram, and I'd love to talk to you guys and learn more about you and your video process as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks guys. Got it all wrong, I'm just having fun.
tonight. 